Hi friends, as usual, I'm super excited to see you here. If you're meeting for the first time, I'm Uma Shankar Pandey and this is the Dr. USP channel. I host videos on media, communication, statistics and research on this channel. To stay updated with the latest on this channel, I urge you to consider subscribing to the channel. The implications of globalization and information communication technologies help sustain what is known as the network society. Let's find out what is network society. Historically, social networks have always been there. What is different about the network society is that ICTs have helped create and sustain far-flung social networks and the social relationships that they create. We'll discuss the key ideas of Spanish social theorist Manuel Castells' idea of network society. The network society theory discusses the changes in a society brought about by the information and communication technologies and in which individuals and groups are organized around digital information networks. Widespread internet connectivity brings in changes for individuals and communities. These networks have always existed in some form. The use of information and communication technologies help to create and sustain far-flung networks in which new kinds of social relationships are created. In the network society, the chief form of power is control or influence over communication. Industrial societies are hierarchical. They are formal and centered. In network societies, however, information communication and people move freely within and across nodes. Basically, all networks are made of nodes and links. Nodes may represent people, work groups, teams, organizations, institutions, states, web pages, or even countries. Links are basically ties, connections and relationships which connect two nodes together. According to Manuel Castells, the rise of an open market economy, civil rights movement, the feminist movement and the revolution in information and communication technologies led to the network society. Technology makes it possible for information itself to become the product. The products of new information technology industries are information producing devices and information processing. Manuel Castells describes this as informationalism as opposed to capitalism. The global economy emerging from informational-based production and competition is interdependent and asymmetric. It only includes certain people and functions almost autonomously. The ones excluded from this global economy are described as fourth world by Manuel Castells. In the network society work cultures, workers are supposed to be autonomous and have to be good at multitasking. The small firm is a role model of the network society. The organization itself is flexible, which is never still but changes from project to project. In the network society, according to Castells, there are three positions available in the occupational structure. There are networkers, there are those who are jobless and flex timers. Compared to the organization man in the industrial era, 
the network society is replaced by the flexible woman so one's job is not permanent they have to work from project to project the networkers are the highly educated and self programmable labor they don't need training or reskilling because they constantly upskill themselves on the periphery and outside these networks are other workers who are unable to share in this virtual culture many of them are left jobless exclusion is built in the network society structure networks function on the basis of including people and resources that are valuable to their task and excluding other people territories and activities that have little or no value for the performance of those tasks in the network Network society also leads to networked individualism. Virtual communities are me-centered networks or personalized communities where sociability is privatized. Mediated reflections of self-identity like blogging, podcasting, and online gaming are examples of the networked individualism. In early social theory, space was theorized in terms of strictly defined boundaries, borders, territories and maps. In the network society, there is the space of flows. Networks are connected together by flows of various sorts: flows of information, flows of material, flows of money, flows of people. Network society also leads to the concept of timeless time. One element is that everything is speeded up, everything is instantaneous. There is also a process of desequencing. This is because there is limitless access to streams of live as well as archived material. So the past, present and future are dissolved and reassembled for us and by us the mass media content with a standardized product has been replaced by the proliferating multimedia of narrow casting and the many to many communications of the internet there is also very little distinction between producers of content and consumers of media content castles discusses this as a concept of real virtuality as opposed to virtual reality the network society has led to four different cultures the first is the techno meritocratic culture very similar to the networker that we've discussed then there is the hacker culture the virtual communitarian culture which is an open culture and the entrepreneurial culture The culture is marked by an openness, a willingness to share ideas and outputs. This openness is a product of the genesis of the internet, of making the source code of the computer software available openly so that users and other developers can study, change and improve its design. Networks lead to uprooting of human action and social relations from local contexts and cultures. This leads to delocalization, which is the shifting of social activities away from local contexts and cultures and reconstituting them within distant networks. Thank you for staying along friends. As usual it was a delight having you here I'll be back with another video very soon till then have a great time